very real threat that this house was going to be raised. I think there really would have been an outcry. Hugh Jacobson really blazed the trail in introducing really good modern houses to Washington establishment. And this is one of the very few that was really here. We came in and on the one hand, trying to completely respect and restore the house as is. On the other hand, we're coming at it doing a complete replacement of systems in terms of the HVAC, the wiring, the plumbing. It really was a stem to stern renovation in that respect. As the preservation architect, what were the most important things that you that you wanted to save from from Jacobson's design. The clients were already all over that. I think in in, in, a, in a very sensitive way, we weren't you know having to come to them and say this is really the right thing to do. I think it was absolutely a merging of of instincts and interests for both of us. I've never lived in a space that is as joyful to live in as this space. You know, we may be coming back to a period of balance where that 2,000 square foot house that has a sense of mystery and, and, and uplifting qualities and soaring ceilings, you know, it's more than enough. What was valid in the early 1970s can be equally valid now. I think one of the interesting things about the house is this inflected entry door. This is, this is a kind of a neat move, but you see that there are these two rather acute um, angles, you know, coming into the door, and that developed this amount of thickness, which allowed for this poche of closet storage, you know, flanking the door. Uh, but it's all just part of one big planar wall system. We tried to really play up this tendency to always just have pure planes sliding okay. into the next spaces and that happens really at every sort of junction. Yeah. This this is an this is one kind of anomaly I think when you come into the entry hall this soaring kind of obelisk almost or mon you know monolith of the wall that's behind you Megan uh, which is dividing the kitchen the uh, dining room from from the living space. This truly is the heart of the house and I think the the dynamic that you feel in this room is also kind of emblematic of the house. The kitchen is entirely new. Kept the bay, which, right. which I think really is um, a great signature and a period piece for the house. We did re, we rebuilt it. Um, it's it's sort of newly, uh, newly engineered with better glass, better systems, but uh, and obviously the Carrara extending into a, a custom. Custom range hood, oh, which wow, again, if you look amazing. at the flue, the flue becomes this soaring yeah. vertical element, wow. even though it's not a very big space, but it's elements like this, I think that actually make you feel like you're in a place that's actually bigger, bigger than it is. I think a lot of modern houses take themselves very seriously. This is anything but that. Uh, and I think, um, it has a sense of humor, yeah. it's witty. I think the owners would say it's uplifting. Uh, it just really literally brings a smile to your house. And I've come to appreciate what an extraordinary quality that is. And what is the secret to that? Like you're discovering it, right. I think, as you move through it. Yeah. And I can see that, I can imagine that um, that doesn't go away after the first time that you see, you know, that like it kind of keeps happening and oh, exactly. it's such a cool feeling to feel like you're finding um, any, any, any yeah. great work of architecture is always going to sort of surprise you yeah. after like the hundredth visit, you know, you'll sort yeah. of see something for the first time sure. or feel yeah. something for the first time. You can't get it all, you know, all at once. Behind you, Megan, it actually is another sort of distinctive feature that Hugh Jacobson did, which I really like. 
this is actually a, um, a closet door, and it, oh. and it opens. <laughs> but above, it is a return air grill. Um, okay. <laughs> and he you know, took this necessary evil, and he turned it, he turned it into brilliant. this really nice design yeah. feature. It's a great idea. And the, the sort of striation then became the inspiration for the, uh, oh, the headboard. That makes sense. Yeah, the bed. It's really pretty clear from the outside, but one of the points about this house that's always affecting your perception of it is each of these pavilions is very you know, rectilinear, mm -hmm. but all of the decks are simply connecting point A yeah. to like point Z. And so there's this, there are these very simple diagonal lines um, on the outside and the inside, it's all the kind of reiterated, you know, geometry of the orthogonal pavilions. This house, I think really brilliantly, when it was conceived in 75, it was pushed all the way That's to the right. edge. About that. And okay. so it preserved the best part of the site to not be built on. The way landscape architecture, it's, any project is really a remodel or a renovation. So yeah, we really worked with what was here, um, the existing, some of the major existing trees, but there was also a lot of, there were invasives, uh, winter creeper and other things that were coming in that needed to be really be removed. So the, the main thing we were really working with was the structure of the site and preserving that and kind of the geometry that was sort of implicit. We're very honored to have the Residential Architect Award because of its sort of national audience and, and here's here's a chance for us to show gems of this period that may not be known you know so easily to the national audience although Hugh Jacobson is obviously a well-known well-known architect nationally and internationally it's really gratifying again that the jury actually picks up on the subtlety and you know, the contributions that the next architect can make and they can see it as being both an homage but also an advancement, you know, in some ways. But you really have to dial into that frequency and, uh, you know, we love doing that. I mean, it's actually, it's actually a challenge but it's also, it's intellectually interesting and, um, and you really are doing something for, you know, for the good of, of the order and and you're preserving these, uh, even these modern houses should absolutely be preserved. <laughs>